Hello everybody, welcome back. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to use references inside of Maya. Okay, so when we think about references, what I mean is we're going to take a picture or various pictures and put them inside Maya so we can use it as blueprints or guidelines to model from. And I did show you that in my previous tutorials with uh, my Ferrari uh, modeling. So first of all, what we need is a picture. So if I open up my folder I've got a picture here so that has the front side top and back view of the LaFerrari and these are the key images you need you need orthographic views and what I mean my by orthographic are literally side views of this I mean I think I've probably got another picture this is a side view of a car but just looking at the angle it's just slightly higher so you probably could use this to model from um, however I would usually advise nice sharp side views like this so these are usually concept images um, they're very useful and we're going to show you how to actually use these in Maya so first of all a lot of people do this different ways um, they actually create like planes and put that on a plane but I don't do that I click space and sorry I need to click my quad view and I come into the side view so click and hold uh, click space again so then as you can see here it says side X we're in side view now and then we come to view at the top here and then go to image plane we can import and then let's find that image there we go if we open that up now then I can come into my perspective and we can see the image is placed directly on that side perspective which is cool which is actually the other way which is this one um, and then because I've chosen an image where scale is quite uniform so if you have different images you have a side a front and back and they're all different images you can have to size those down um, you know so each one has the same sort of scale because when you come to modeling in one side you'll do something and then when you go to the top view for example it could be just slightly bigger and that's not going to help you any bit so um, I tend to choose pictures with all of them on here which I can clearly see the scale is correct because um, then all I need to do is I can duplicate it and say I want to do it in the top view now I can hold J rotate 90 degrees yeah and then I, what I can do is I can come into the top view so hit in space and then I can literally move this into in the, well this picture here into the center so I'd say about there so now we've got a top view. So if I now create a box, yeah, and I can size that sort of roughly to the width of the car, and then do it to the front of the car, and then to the back. When I go into side view now, that should match up. So let's go into side view. Um, we'll enable X ray. So if you come up here, click this button, X ray, and all I need to do is just basically move that up. And as we can see here, yep, the front's pretty much there, and the back is there. So that's how we know that we've got a good scale. And now I've got front and side views. Yeah. However, they're in the way, and I don't like that. So ten, what I tend to do is I sort of look at which image, and I go, okay, that's the image from this angle, so I know that I need to push it back. So what I can do is I can just push it all the way here. That's not going to affect it in side view. Because it's orthographic, doesn't matter how far away, nothing will get bigger. Okay, so you can push that all the way back out of the way because we only want to see it in this view. So you can just push that out of the way, don't need it. And then the same with the top. So this one, we look at it from the top, so we need to know it, it you know, it needs to be pushed back, which is down. So what we can do is we can just push that down. Oops. So now we've got a cube, which we can zoom in, start adjusting, click space. Uh, yeah, we can zoom in there, so let's let's have a look. Let's do a, a little block out, shall we? Let's um insert edge loop we can go in the middle uh, we can grab these two vertices bring them back um, do, 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 bring that down a bit for the bonnet same 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 uh, what we'll do is we will grab the top face and then we'll start extruding that up uh, extruding it up again so hit G and then G again so now all I can do is I can just literally grab these vertexes and move them into position. 
and that is how you can quickly define sort of a block out for a car now I probably need another edge loop in here just to define that shape but you know I'm not going to worry about that if you was going to do it that's what you would do if I just finish this and then we'll see so kind of like that so as you can see I'm getting sort of the basic for the car shape and that's because I've managed to get a nice side and top image you know and then you can obviously again go to the front you know start sizing those down you know make that smaller make that bigger and by doing it in every single view obviously this is now rough you get in different angles so you're not just looking at the side and the front it's always best to look in the perspective as well just to see what it looks like you know by looking at that what's going on that don't look right so maybe I need to grab these you know obviously I've over exaggerated on this but it's it's basic practice to just look around your 3D model in perspective just to make sure it's looking okay so I, can, I think okay yeah no bring those in that's more natural um, let's look at something else uh, these are too far out they're conflicting so I can bring that in a bit as well and that's just how the reference images works guys by getting a good scale you can just position them and then all you need to do is just model it you know and you can just it is hard work, it, is, it does take time, but if you want something accurate, then using reference images is definitely key. And I I wouldn't even attempt to model that freehand, you know, without the reference images. And I'm lucky I got where I am with it, uh, you know. So if I didn't, I think I'd be quite embarrassed to show you what it would look like. So, um, But we're not even going to go there. So that is this tutorial, guys. That is using reference images and how you can actually create nice shapes um, to a certain scale and ensuring that you're getting a good practice out of it. So the next tutorial we're going to look at how to create layers inside of Maya so you can quickly hide and show things um, you know, and selecting various groups that you want to show and that I will actually um, open up a rig that I've done just because it's more easier to understand especially when you're looking at it so we'll do that one um, and I'll see you then. See you later guys.